Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Only got one thing to do. Let's clap it up for 2K, y'all. Now, what I'm here to talk about, I'm here to talk about skills. Not your balling skills, not the skills on the sticks. I'm talking about signature skills. Yes, 2K has taken a page from EA once again. They have taken a page from FIFA and Madden by introducing signature skills. Now, if you play Madden or FIFA, you should know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a set of skills given to a player in different departments of their, you know, valor, what they do on the court. Seem, you know what? Let me just do it like this. Let's think of Jason Kidd, a pass first point guard where he has a 360 degree view of what's happening around him opposed to a shooting first point guard that's only worried about getting to the rim, shooting the ball, he only has his eyes on the goal. Now, let's jump more into it. They say that in past games fans found it that it didn't matter you know what type of rating a person had because it seemed like everybody was talented in any respective position. Let's take LeBron James versus Sean Mary in the NBA 2K12. If you play with LeBron, you do the same things that you will with Sean Marion and vice versa. Sean Marion will dunk on somebody's head, so will LeBron. LeBron will shoot an open jump shot and make it, so will Sean Marion. It just doesn't matter in 2K12. So what they're trying to bring to the table is these signature skills which means each player can have up to five signature skills which cover everything from being a spot-up shooter or an alley-ooper or on offense by being I mean well on offense by being a chase down artist or a pickpocketer on defense now another thing will be most of the signature skills are individual traits but some players also have skills to extend to their teammates which means they call it team auras which means a floor general such as let's say LeBron James a point forward he he runs his team he does everything if he is on the court he improves everyone's play on the court it's the same thing like 2k12 if you foul out a star in NBA 2k12 you'll notice how it seems like the teammates AI goes down while you're playing like if I foul out Dirk the Mavs wouldn't know what to do without them. If I foul out JK, same thing. So, what they're saying is they're trying to lock down a number of skill traits right now. They say that they're about around 28 so far. This, the developer has not commented on whether or not players will gain or lose signature skills as the career progresses, which means, you know, with every roster update, will a person lose a skill set or something like that? They're not sure what they want to do with that yet. I think they should just keep it the same, even if a player gets injured or doesn't do as much as they would, because that's what they're known for. And I might like it, you know, but like I said, guys, this sounds pretty good, you know, to give a signature skills. Just imagine you got LeBron being an alley-ooper, a dunker, uh, nice layups, not no posts, no jump shots, but good faders and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I wish I can get my hands on the skills so I can see what they have. Because just think, you know, when you think of Madden, you think of a trucker, a flashy guy, stuff like that. So I don't know what 2K is thinking, but it sounds pretty good. But, you know, we're not going to talk about abilities right now. But I will say this. This is IKC signing out. If you want more info about NBA 2K13, you know where to reach me. Hit me up on Twitter at iPodKingCarter. And I'm signing out. Peace.